Hello YouTubers, I've been asked several times for shop tours, so I'm going to give you a quick one. Up above my garage door, we'll start there, the three hubcaps that were on my very first car I ever bought, it was a 1964 Chevy 2, and if you look right in the middle, there's the tag and the original key I got with it. The car is long gone. A couple horseshoes, now let's get to the serious stuff. This is a bench, or a big long steel table. This is for twisting steel, like on wrought iron stuff. This is for sharpening saw blades. There's my chainsaw sharpener. And I have a couple other blacksmithing type um, tools. Right there is the instruction manual for them. One is for uh, scroll work type stuff, I don't know, and underneath that green these bags that's my little grizzly slip roll. This is my blacksmith tool cart. I keep it in here and then when I want to go out and do some blacksmithing I got it all right there. There's the tong cart. I made a few more designs. I'm going to be doing some videos on making them soon, I hope. My Miller 211 I love that. There's the tank and the helmet and my do-rag, which I call my Aunt Jemima when I'm wearing it. Um, the buffing wheels. There is a uh, Shopsmith surface or thickness planer for wood. My metal brake, a Shopsmith sander. My uh, fab table parts still waiting to be done. If we turn around here I got my welding table and the reason I do my projects over here is because the floor is pretty flat. If I come back this way there's a drain in the floor and it slopes down so I work do my work over there. My little saw band saw back here's a joiner that's just a mess holder. My press and the uh, 90 degree uh, dies I made for it. There's the uh, wood lathe chain for making targets, some sandblasting stuff in my sand, one of my sandblasters, and some saw blades from work, metal cutting saw blades for saw, uh, knife, knife making. Then we come over here. This is the bullet swaging press I made. A vise, some more uh, target material, bullet swaging press, all kinds of little bins for that kind of stuff. My archery stuff is up here. Of course along this wall is my kind of antique tool wall. And I've got a bunch of cabinets here with stuff in them. And I hot melt glue samples on the front of the drawers so I don't have to mess around trying to figure out a lot of it. Uh, TIG welding parts. And then I had a bunch of stuff hot melt glued on there and then I changed location so I just pulled it off. I have down here some uh, steel. That's my Uncle Buck Forge anvil that I took to Quad State. Had on my tailgate. There's an old uh, scale that I need to get hung up on the wall gobs and gobs of bullets that I cast bullets that I need to run through the sizer a scale Lyman scale a bunch of arrows my bead blasting cabinet this is what I was setting up for um, molding holsters what was that stuff called my mind goes blank and down there, I have blanks of, uh, shoot, what's it called? I don't remember. Anyway, I was going to put the rivets and stuff up here. Then I kind of made this into a, uh, my jewelry making stuff that I got at that auction. I'm not going to go through all the drawers. Then I have a little tiny anvil and vise that I was going to mount on a steel plate. I have a light up here. There's my meat saws. 
I also have a dial digital indicator right in there. A couple bows up there and just stuff. And then if we step back, you'll see I really got some stuff. I just try to keep everything as organized as I can, but I've got a lot of stuff. Kydex holster making down here. Then this is my oils and stuff like that. And I have a painter and those are nice little boxes. When I used to make predator calls, I'd put them in those boxes to ship them out. There's a little candle lantern I made years ago. Uh, those are empty tool or tackle boxes that I use for different things. I had my leather working tools in one of them. And here's like, well you see linseed oil and thinners and stuff like that. And then I've got some other stuff here. I think it goes along with uh, lost wax investment casting and some other stuff in there. I just rearranged my shop and put these cabinets over here. This cabinet here was up in that hole there because I just built a new one. We'll get to that here shortly. I built that little cabinet years and years and years ago and I have more stuff down there and there's parts for the boat trailer I still haven't finished. My radial arm saw and a pellet rifle I'm working on for someone. A armadillo target. Yeah. Okay. My coffee these two cabinets here were down there on the other side, but I wanted them here because these four all are the same size. And that shelf holds all my different lubricants. I used to go, if I'd go to Menards or Lowe's or somewhere, I'd buy a, a can of WD-40 or some other kind of lubricant that I thought I could use in the shop. So I've kind of amassed a collection. And this is where I have nuts of all type, washers and lock washers, different kinds of screws, and more screws. And now let's take a look at this magnificent cabinet that I just built yesterday and filled up. I think that's going to be fantastic. I busted my guts trying to get it up there. The cabinet itself weighed 200 pounds and you'll watch the video where it was a quarter inch too tall to fit underneath that board and what I had to do to get it back there. Back here we got light bulbs, fuel, sandpaper. I've been putting these uh, signs on the front of everything to help me find it and I'm not going to be around forever. It'll tell whoever has to clean this mess up what is in it. Now I'm going to walk back this way and show you what's behind me. This is a new shelving unit. Actually, it's about two years old, but I don't think anyone's seen it. I bought these shelving rails and cut them off and made book racks for the ends. And I thought that was pretty clever. If I say so myself and this is my measuring <laughs> area there's a uh, granite surface plate under there and then all kinds of measuring stuff in there that's the board for the boat trailer I got to make a new one but I've got a variety of books on shop stuff and over here I've got a new angle grinder sitting there waiting to be put into service I've got boxes for tools that I've got and tools in the boxes and all kinds of stuff. There's my oscillating drum sander and a little belt sander and that's got a lot of electrical stuff in it. My drill drill bit sharpener, a couple uh, DeWalt's, drawers, stuff all over it. Uh, kind of like a roundup and a weed killer and stuff like that. Fruit tree spray. Oh, and there's stuff underneath here too. 
there's a little wood stove there this is a thing to run down your drains if you got plugged it's motorized I got a bunch of stuff I'm gonna sell next year at quad state a couple little anvils they didn't sell this year that's the only thing that didn't sell and 30 bucks might have just been a little too high for ant small anvils like that are just formed there's the lights for my boat trailer there's my coyote rifle 80 percent lower waiting to be finished some bearings pillow rock bearings and that's what those are my music I don't play music in here very much because it's distracting and I've got to concentrate. Pegboard filled up from one end to the other. Five gallon buckets of rice, flour, you name it, beans. They were, they got to get moved. This stuff is needing to be moved back to where it belongs. My uh, back for my mill and stuff. These are all different kinds of bolts. Carriage bolts, hex bolts, lag bolts, some more uh, like quarter inch number 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 5, 4, 2, set screws, socket screws, and just roll pins and all that stuff. They go from the top down. wrenches hammers firewood wood stove warming this place up I'm pretty hot in this flannel shirt that is stuff fluxes and stuff for casting casting aluminum and casting brass and bronze some other stuff I got a lot of this stuff when I bought the shop and I've never used it yet course up here's storage things I've made things I'm stocking up on I did a video on that green bucket years ago that's that uh, water purifier thing I put my borax in that for uh, fluxing when I'm forge welding cast iron and all my goodies for eating. This is a little cart that I made a long time ago. I used to have that uh, granite surface plate on top of it. Now I keep the top is for my mill which is right beside me and then the down here is for starting the fires and the wood stove right here. I don't know if I mentioned all the that whole shelf is spray paint, paint and varnish, nails and garbage bags and just you name it all the way down. This, is, this whole shelf is basically geared towards the kitchen, which is right here, and I'm loving it. I'm, I've been out here every morning for breakfast, unless I go to Lulu's on Friday, every day for probably two weeks. I'm just out here every day, toast, and I always, when I'm done, I just had breakfast a little while ago. When I'm done, I clean it up and it's ready for the next day. I got some more coffee to drink. Right here behind me is my Enco mill drill. And I've got a system here that a friend of mine gave me years ago and I thought it's time to start looking into putting that on there. It's a DRO. But I found out I think I'm missing some cables. The cables that go from the indicators to the display. So I'm kind of worried about that. I've got stuff to go down here. Here's my stool when I eat. Stuff for the mill down here. Measuring equipment and such. My Grizzly 4000 G4003 lathe. China. But it does what I want it to do. I'm no machinist, so I. I have a lot of fun tinkering around with my two little pieces of equipment here. Over here is kind of another catch-all. I got my chainsaws on top, which the older I get, the lower I think they're going to go. 
I got metal detecting fines. There's my Spoolmate 100 for the Miller welder. It's for welding aluminum. New in the box. I just haven't haven't had the time or anything to do with uh, welding aluminum, so I haven't used it yet. I got a bunch of uh, stick welding rods there that haven't been touched since I got the wire welder. I've got in that black box right there in that, uh, where is it at, that green thing right there um, and you see the cardboard box those are all pipe thread dies. I just keep picking them up here and there and right there is the Haddon Lumber Maker. Oh boy have I stirred up a hornet's nest on YouTube with that thing. I showed them how to use it but I didn't spend 10 minutes grinding my way through a log. How boring would that be? And everyone's pissed off about that. Trapping supplies. More trapping stuff down in there. And there's that toolbox back in. There's my uh, chainsaw box. I take that and there's my chainsaw gas. If I happen to spill some... No, that's ice melt. There's the oil dry. And you see my axe heads coming out of the axe handle. My toolboxes. The tops seem to be magnets for stuff. But I'm not going to go through all these drawers. And then this cabinet here has all my casting stuff in it. That's a metal and wood bandsaw. Right now it's got a bandsaw blade in it. Or a, a wood cutting bandsaw blade in it. I need, need to do some work on that. I think I've come up with a solution to what's the problem. And this is a bell saw, fully bell saw sharpening system. Um, I need to do more research on that. I got it when I bought the shop and I don't hardly use it. But it's a nice setup if I figured it out. A lot of this stuff wasn't there, but I had to clean up that area down there. And it migrated there, 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 back there. This is a uh, just a shelf with different stuff in it. And that thing right there with those blades on it works with this fellow. Foley bell saw for sharpening planer blades for my big wheels out in the garden they need repaired an older drill press craftsman and there's my surface grinder and underneath it there's a jigsaw that I need to uh, mount somewhere and get a motor to it because I think they got the motor underneath there with it different uh, attachments for the shop vacs. This side has leather working. That's a uh, part for my mill. That is a little furnace that the guy used for uh, lost wax investment casting and this is the thing to melt the wax and there's a little pump gizmo right here that when you've got it melted you can push this down and it fills the cavity of your mold with the wax so then you can dip it in the uh, what do you call it to make your mold I got drill bits I've been going through these sharpening them I got these two are all sharpened drill bits. These I need to sharpen. These are concrete bits. These are for my uh, tubing bender that's over there. I don't know if I showed it to you. And then I've just got little trays of stuff and screws and nails and this is uh, there's my fridge. I need, I'm looking for a new one, a larger one. I've got a bunch of motors down there for different projects and casters, my uh, router, 
air cylinders and stuff. This has got hole saws, reamers, more reamers, more reamers, and cutting wheels for the mill, and my shoe polishing and leather dyeing stuff. These are exacto knife sets. That's a box of different kinds of exotic woods. But there you can get a little better idea of the motors. And this is my tool box for my mill and machining and my rat rifle which was over there and stuff that I found and buried and didn't get it to the trash can yet. My R8 collets and the drill bits I use on my drill press and my Eagle Oilers hiding under there. I love that thing. And there's another one. If you look over there and look real hard, you'll see another one sitting right there on the shelf. There's another one. I've got, I've got three of them. I thought I only had two. Huh. Surprise! And this is where I keep most of the stuff that I use a lot on the mill. And my one caliper. Not caliper. Mike is over here. It goes up here too. And one of the first projects I did when I got my mill was I made these for holding lathe bits. I was pretty proud of that. I was I am no machinist and that's one of the first things I made. I made I think there's four of them up there and I've got another one that holds it's a lot larger that holds my uh, for knurling. I made this one to hold the knurling tool. Where'd that go? But we're not going to go through all those drawers because they're just full of stuff. Some of the stuff I got at Quad State this year were a bunch of these punches and and drifts and, and uh, these drifts for making hammers and tomahawks and stuff right here a bunch of files but my shop is 40 24 by 40 inside and I've outgrown it I just keep organizing and it's like the law of diminishing returns. I'm running out of room to organize. Right here is my stockpile of material for the lathe in the mill. A lot of it I haven't marked what it is. Some of it I know by the color code. There's tubing in the back there, I believe, and solid rounds like 12L14. Uh, there's 4140 back there. I've got some nice little tube, DOM tube. There's a bunch more of that at work. I think I'm going to try to get as much of that uh, as I can. I do have some plastic stuff, drill rods. Turn ground and polished or in these cardboard uh, things. Let's go out here. There's the vise to hold the pipe that I'm going to th thread with my all my pipe dies. Turn the light on. Right there are my torch or my burners for my forge. I'm trying to get figured out. There's the other board for my boat trailer. I've got the stuff back in there to build my treadle ham excuse me, my treadle hammer, and I was going to make a press using those T pieces, 
I don't know now. Here's some more stock out here it tends to get rusty because the ceiling sweats and drips this is another project I'm going to try to start today my vice not my vice my anvil my old mouse hole anvil my striking anvil with the guillotine tool and my American wrought iron anvil my buffing wheels back there that I got to get a bigger motor for, stronger torch. My forge with the crank blower. I'm going to be working on that. I got a new one I'm building. There's my grill, my sandblaster, a rabbit carrier I got to take down to the barn, a lot of lead. I got a rear end with the wheels back there I was going to make a new boat trailer out of, but now I've got a boat trailer. A couple spare cabinets I don't know what to do with that I bought when I got that deal on all the my kitchen. Uh, there's another countertop sitting back there. You can see the tops of some targets I made, the red things down there. I've got pegboard here to hang some of my blacksmithing stuff on. And there's my swage blocks. The scale I use when I bring home steel. My meat grinder. Table saw. Cool barrel. Shelving. That's a bunch of... Uh, Oh, you know what they are. Why can't I think of words when I'm... Pulleys. That's a bunch of gears. And a bunch of... In that box down in there, there's a bunch of different mechanisms for different things. And I got a, a box of aluminum and a box of brass. And that kitty litter thing, I think, is aluminum. Some sh old uh, slate shingles. And there's a bunch more uh, old. Well, up there's the flue for my new uh, forge. There's the brake dumb for the forge. Some more uh, slate shingles. Some stuff from an old disc. There's a couple of uh, armadillo targets. <laughs> Some steel. I believe they're three inch thick and like. 8x8 eight eight for just hammering on. I have a kiln of some kind back there. You just see the opening. Turkey fryer. A big piece of tubing if I want to make a tank for something. Clay pigeon thrower. Some more targets. Some cable. That's a cable from work, a crane cable, that I want to try to make cable Damascus out of and make a knife and using one of those saw blades as the core for it so I'd have a good hard steel core, hardening ste hardenable steel core because uh, what I've heard is the cable's questionable. And back in there is a big ch fat chain off of a side loader at work that I want to maybe I there you can kind of see it there hopefully I can make some kind of a Damascus out of that but that's pretty much my shop I got some more coal down there I gotta take this wire out and put it with the rest of the wire in the barn I wanted to make a sifter for the coal for the fines because my coal that I've got is all great big lumps like that and I want to kind of sift it out and break it up and stuff and it's a little chilly out here today
Thanks for watching.